devils All your heavens and your hells Are within you And the stories that you tell You are the holy land You are the holy land You Do not cast away your devils Lest you take the best of you In this life there will be sorrow So pay the devil what he's due And if you have an ear to listen Angel, come this way The sun always shines Just sometimes it hides On the other side of day You are the holy land You are the holy land You are, you are, you are, you are, you are the holy Hi, welcome to Face to Face. Today we're going to talk with Tom today about the top level demon uh, with the DAT NYC and he became other DAT Paris and DAT Berlin and you were the, the guy who make it happen. Uh, you started in, in community board. Uh, yes, I uh, actually I was on a community board in uh -huh. 2001, community board three in Queens. Yeah. And, <clears throat> and I thought that um, uh, it was kind of odd that everybody in New York had to get a domain name that didn't pertain to the city. You know, everybody was a .com, a .org, .net, a .edu, uh -huh. .net, whatever. And I thought how nice it would be if uh, everybody in New York could have a the same top-level domain. So uh, uh, we we start we passed a resolution in 2001 saying that the city should acquire this .myc. And uh, soon enough, uh, actually in uh, 2015, uh, actually uh, when did it happen? Actually 2012. Uh, the city acquired it, and they're in the process of distributing these names now. But, but do you want it to have it for the people of the city? Do you want it to have it and uh, using it as a democratical educational tools for people to be able to have a special domain, like a common domain for the people in New York City, mm -hmm. and not having it sold in... in yeah, in yeah. <coughs> I, I think the, uh, the thing that really, as I said, I was on a community board okay. at the time, uh -huh. and I realized that in the community, the Jackson Heights neighborhood that I lived in, we had about 100,000 residents. Okay. And I went to school in Terre Haute, Indiana, which okay. had about the same number of residents. And uh, in Terre Haute, they had two television stations, eight radio stations, and a daily newspaper focused on the needs wow. of those 100,000 people. And in Jackson Heights, we didn't have any of those. <laughs> nothing, absolutely nothing at all. So I thought, how nice it would be if we had like a Jackson Heights at uh -huh. NYC. Uh -huh. So uh, the good news is that the city has set those, side, those names aside okay. and has plans to give them do to the neighborhoods and do some good with it. It's a complicated process to try and figure out how to do that. They had one plan that uh, required that the applicant organization have uh, represented, that they represent everybody in the neighborhood, that they represent the churches and the schools and the residents and the landowners and the stores and what have you. And they said you had to be in existence for two years. And then when we checked, nobody, it didn't match anybody. There is no such organization. So the city's trying to figure out a plan that will enable them to give this to responsible entities in the different neighborhoods. And, and why do you see this 
because you spend almost your life for, for quite some time. Wow. And why do you see it as, as such an important issue, yeah. as such a uh, 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 story well, to fight? Uh, so I, I think in the city that uh, it's very difficult to get anything done. You know, yeah. Anybody who's involved, been involved civically, uh, an advocate for anything realizes that it takes you know forever seemingly to to get something done something has to happen terrible before mm -hmm. something good can come out of it mm -hmm. and i think that if we had more local control of our lives if we had uh, uh, if we were able to make decisions locally if we had we able if we were able to communicate with one another if we were able to uh, make important decisions had little budgets uh, and we could run our neighborhoods in a much better in a much better way we wouldn't have to wait for disaster to make change. But we have already a community board. I mean, you were part of one. And, I, and, was part and of a, I was on a community board for 15 years, and uh, I enjoyed it. Okay. Uh, it is a very challenging uh -huh. uh, endeavor. And uh, I think, though, that we didn't have the, the, we were 50 board members. We weren't a neighborhood of 100,000 people with mm -hmm. good communication. Mm -hmm. So when I started on the community board in 1992, mm -hmm. there was basically no internet. There was no way to communicate. When mm -hmm. I, I went to my first meeting and I met the person on my left. I went to my second meeting and I met the person sitting on my right. And that was, you know, that was a three month period there. Mm -hmm. And so there, there just hadn't been any good communication. Now we have the potential to have good yeah. communication. The internet provides a, a lot of uh, potential for connections, but we just haven't had the, the real internet. You know, when they developed the internet, <coughs> pardon me, when they developed the internet, they didn't march up the steps to City Hall and ask Mayor Koch, uh, Mayor Koch, how do you want this thing to work? Yeah. They never asked us, yeah. you know, we kind of snuck into the city and, uh, you know, it's doing a lot of good, but it could have been a lot better. You know, if we had names for all of our resources, if we had a, a Jackson Heights.nyc, a, a, a Mathworth.nyc, all the neighborhood names we used, if all of our existing institutions could be have their names plastered, if it was St. Patrick's Cathedral.nyc, uh, Mayor.nyc, what have you, if our existing resources could just be uh, pasted over the, uh, the the .nyc name, it would have made a much more intuitive city. You know, you wouldn't have to go to Google for everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so you'd be able to find what what's here now. Yeah, and then on top of it, the city are not using really the internet for. I mean, that this potential who could be. I mean, I saw it with the city ID not connected to uh, yeah, to internet that, was, yeah. was was was. Uh, I hope they of, address that. that, that I mean, sounds, it, it, it uh, was you know, really it a uh, essentially a website to everybody where we all could communicate and know one another and our interests and desires and things of that sort. And so even democratically, I mean, what stopped people to participate? No. I mean, it, it, we are still in, in right. I mean, 19th the whole, century. It's just amazing that uh, <laughs> we still have the same archaic uh, yeah. voting system. But uh, one of the things we could also do, which would be nice, is we could set aside common spaces, you know. So, uh -huh. Uh, you know, here we have sidewalks and streets and squares okay. where we meet, where we have free speech okay. rights and things like that. We don't have those on the internet. Any, everything is owned by someone. You know, Facebook owns its space. It says what it's supposed to do. Where are the, where are the public spaces on .myc is the ones I'm interested in. And uh, how do you see it? How can you, can you, can you be... Well, the, ci the city has set aside a, a number of names that could be used for, uh -huh. uh, for, for the public interest as common spaces. But I, I think the govern, whole governance issue is the problem, that they've never engaged the public in the process. Uh -huh. So uh, we, we have encouraged that. Uh, when, so right now there are 35 cities that have okay. applied mm -hmm. that have the right to develop a top level domains, Paris, Berlin, Tokyo, what have you. But that's why it's because of your work. Well, we were the first ones to start it. I mean, uh, there are hundreds, <laughs> if not thousands, of other people who have done it. I didn't do this myself. No, but you, 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 you put it. I, I have pushed. Yeah. I've been involved for a long time yeah. and I've put a lot of effort into uh -huh, it. Uh -huh. But all of those 35 cities, you know, what, what I learned, which mm -hmm. was really surprising to me and very disappointing really, is that the way the city usually works is that uh, things are done outside New York City and then they eventually come here. So okay. like uh, I was in Paris in uh, 2008 and they have these Valibs, they have these rental bikes all over the city. And five years later, uh, after Paris made mistakes and Washington made mistakes, they finally came to the city. Mm -hmm. city finally, the city made mistakes also, but they finally, they're getting it right. Mm -hmm. you know, we have city mm -hmm. bikes. Mm -hmm. What I learned, what I did with the dot .myc was I pushed and pushed and mm -hmm. pushed, and, mm -hmm. and now they're an, an innovator. They're pioneers, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and pioneers are the ones with the uh, arrows in their backs. Yeah. You know, they make all the mistakes. Uh -huh. And uh, so what we're doing now, uh, the small not-for-profit that I run, connecting .myc, yeah. Yeah. 
uh, we are uh, trying to take the experience from, uh, from Paris and, and Berlin and London and New York and trying to find out what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong, and making that information available to the, what I estimate to be 300 cities that will be coming online in, in a few years. 300 cities, and they're going to be all connected, or they are all? I hope so. I mean, I, you know, the, the, 35 are, or the 35 now doing it are doing it How independently. Do you do it? How do you work together? I, I think they're going to be standard. So our organization, okay. we, we were just uh, accepted as a, a special consultative status at wow. the UN. We're an NGO. We're an NGO, wow. yes. Great, yeah. great. So we hope to gather the information from the 35 testing cities, uh, okay. essentially. essentially and then spread it out to make that information available to those 300 or, or whatever the number be when the window opens again at ICANN. And uh, so we've been working with ICANN. The, ICANN is the yeah. organization mm -hmm. that issues mm -hmm. these top level demands. Exactly. And we want them to require that the cities, when they apply, that they indicate that they have uh, informed consent, that, th that they know what they're getting into, and that the applications have been developed on a multi-stakeholder model. That means that the public has been involved with the process of developing the applications. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, in the city here, we haven't had any meetings, uh, any substantial meetings uh, to date. Even though it's been in operation for over uh, nearly a year now, there have been no public meetings, there's no gatherings, there's no deliberation as to how this thing should be developed. So the cities in the future will learn from our mistake and we will grant that to the rest of the world. So how's the situation in Berlin and Paris? Just, you know, by... Uh... <laughs> uh, I, I just came, I was in a meeting in uh, Buenos Aires okay. uh, last month okay. and uh, I asked at a meeting how, the, uh, how Paris had decided how to issue, how to issue certain names uh -huh. and they sa I said, did you have public meetings? And uh -huh. they said, no, no, we don't, we don't have course. public meetings. Well, uh, neither did Berlin, <laughs> not, neither did London. Uh, neither, I Berlin, I'm not surprised anybody. because look more democratic on their way to work. But it's Paris not a government TLD yeah. there. Oh. It's, it's, it's owned by a, a private entity. Oh, so, I see. Um, that is uh, a that problem. Was, it's a very complicated yeah. process there. Yeah. So it's, um, you know, so we have a lot of lessons to teach the rest of the world. And I hope to uh, enable... Uh, and the then with the city, how is it it's with the new mayor? How is this? It's there was an advisory board that, uh, that with the old administration had had. They added a few mem members this past, uh, in 2014, but the advisory board ended December 31st, and there's no governance process in New York at all right now. There's great. no way for the public to participate. Great. Fantastic. No, it's not great. It's horrible. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I'm sure he'll fix it up when, yeah? he, when he hears this you show. Have, when you he have, hears this show. You have a lot of hope. He, absolutely. He'll okay. hear David's show, and he'll say, I didn't know that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It'll be done. Thank you so much, Tom. You're quite it welcome. was a pleasure. Thank you so much you. for coming to the show. And then that's the show for today. Thank you.